Hi everybody. So uh, I found this book. It's by James Conner. Um, James Conner is a professional football player. He played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he also now is currently with the Arizona Cardinals. Um, he played for the Pitt Panthers. And at the beginning of his book, he has something called the author's note. And he, it says, keep going. I'm going to read this aloud to you right now. Uh, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the page, and also leave me a message. My mom, my mom gently scratched my back through my t-shirt as I sat in the chemo chair, watching the IV bag drip, drip, drip into the line that ran to the, part, the port catheter in my chest. I was three treatments in, which was just enough to know that they, they are not going to be a cakewalk with an endpoint that seemed impossible, impossibly far away. Two thoughts echoed in my head. One was simply two words, keep going, an order I often gave to my mind during difficult practices when my mind wanted to throw in the towel. The other thought was what my mom was murmuring quietly and reassuringly, just as, just as she had comforted me when I was small. This will all be a distant memory someday soon. A lot of people ask me how I managed to stay so positive through the ups and downs of my junior year at Pitt. The answer is complicated, of course, but the first thing I will say is that I didn't always stay positive. There were definitely times when I felt discouraged, defeated, and angry. I think that's only natural. It's important to remember that these emotions are totally normal and totally healthy responses as long as you don't hang out there or, or wallow in your negative feelings. But it's unrealistic unrealistic to imagine you won't ever feel them at all. If you are facing a major obstacle, show, show yourself a little grace to experience whatever it is that you are experiencing. Don't try to convince yourself that everything is great. You'll know you're lying, but also recognize that you have the power to choose your response to your, to your emotions. Personally, I chose to lean into optimism whenever I could. The second factor that helped me was, try, was staying firm in my faith that God was working in this situation. Whatever the outcome, and trusting that he had a plan and a purpose behind everything. The third thing was having a tremendous support team around me, family, friends, teammates, coaches, people at my treatment center, and even the community to remind me why I was fighting and to lift, lift me up on days when it all felt like too much. And the final thing that kept me going was the promise that time marches on. As long as we don't give up, Whatever we are facing right now will one day just be a memory. This too shall pass. I don't know what you are facing or even why you picked up this book. Maybe you are facing a difficult time and you wanted some words of encouragement. Maybe you are reading this just for the football with no interest in the inspirational stuff. That's totally fine. Because whatever prompted your interest, one thing is guaranteed. Adversity is part of life. Hard times are promised to all of us, and if you're not experienced them at this moment, I hope that something in these pages stays with you for when you do face your own challenges. Even if everything is going perfectly smoothly right now, the good times won't last forever. The awesome thing is the bad times won't last forever either. Whatever plan God has for your life, I hope you trust that you are exactly where you need to be right now in order to get to where he is calling you to be tomorrow and a month in a year or 10 years down the road. You are the only person who gets to decide how you and God will write your story together. My prayer for you is that when, when difficult times come, you will remember that you create your own destiny with God by your side. What's more, I want you to remember that your destiny touches more than just you. When you live beyond fear and the truth of who you really are, even in the midst of trying circumstances, you become an example to others and help them to live with the same courage and hope. Keep going. Every year, every day, every minute. Just keep going. Someday this will all be a distant memory. But what you do with the challenges you face will leave a mark on this world. So once again, this is from James Conner's book. It's called Fear is a Choice. And that was the author's note that's at the beginning of the, of the, beginning of the book. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to the channel. Also message about your stories of challenge and also things about James Conner. Thank you.